It was say kick her off. Y'all are so rude. I don't know how much longer you're gonna be here. So I say my prayers every night. One for my mother, one for my father, and one for the love of my life. Hey, hey y'all, what's up? What's up, yeah? Hey, y'all, what's up? My highlight looks good as a bitch, don't it? You look good. Thank you. You a makeup artist? Why? You, you already know. Artist? I do it all. Like, what's good? And I did my hair. You need to stop trying to save money. You rich now. You just you just penny pension for no reason. So uh, No, not for no reason. Look, Corona canceled my spot. I look, I had like seven shows, 12, no, is 11 shows canceled. What the fuck? So I got to save got my early, money. I I'm about to, I got to save. I'm like you candy. Said. I got to save my money. Huh? There you go. I, I had to go get a hat because I ain't got no haircut. I ain't had a haircut in a couple weeks. But you so bald headed. So what the fuck? No, I'm not bald headed right now. I got hair, but it's, my hairline just starting right here in the middle. Oh, your shit grow? What the fuck you mean do my shit grow? I thought. <laughs> what you talking about? <laughs> I need to go get Yo. Madam DJ Walker's hair products or something. Yeah, my hair grows. Bro, I didn't know. Look, I didn't know. I didn't know that if it grew. I didn't know. Yeah, it grows. I just don't got no edges. Yeah. <laughs> That's all. I did. Mean, eh, eh, eh. I grew my shit. I grew my shit. Like, don't play with me. This is a little lacy right now. This this lacy. I like how you out here. I like how you um. You out here not missing no blessings. I saw two potential candidates for you that you could be dating on this live. Who can I be dating? The last two people that just called in, the dude that rapped with the sty on his eye and the other dude that was selling weed in Walmart parking lot. <laughs> he definitely was selling weed. You're going to say, I'm a photographer. Boy, you not fucking pulling up to take no pictures of nobody. <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> why, why would a photographer be waiting for somebody lying. in Walmart parking lot? about to hit a sale. Exactly. They couldn't think of nothing else. I'm a photographer for a podcast on a big old Sunday in Walmart parking lot. Are you, are you staying corona free? Lock me? You talking about me? Yes. Yes, it's just me and are my son. He in the next room. He's doing his own thing. What about the dog? He don't have corona. Have you checked? Dogs can be carriers, Jess. No, they can't. Only bats and monkeys. That is not true. There ain't nothing true about that. That is true. That is that is true. Where you get that from? CDC. What? CDC and ZOO. Oh, CDC. And what's ZOO? Zoes? Zoo. Oh, Zoo. <laughs> you got to stop making shit up. I'm really, I'm thinking that you was telling me about some shit. You're I so know. stupid. What the I am fuck? not. No, you're okay. not stupid. No. Why do you want to pull face and makeup? Because I just sat down in my makeup chair and was like. Okay. And did it. I just wanted to. I know the music was playing. I was drinking. I had my hookah hooked up. I was like. My son didn't bother me in hours. Oh, so that was so good. I was like, okay. And I just ended up doing my face. So what is this thing you're doing on live? Is this like Corona's Got Talent? Um, Corona Idol? What is this? You're trying to be funny. What are you doing? No, I'm just you're asking questions. Funny. What is this? No, I'm Tell not. these people. Look, no. First of all, fuck that. Tell these people how you bounced me out for Bow Wow one time. Remember you, you bumped me out for Bow Wow one time? I was supposed to do Breakfast Club, y'all. And this nigga was like, yo, we got Bow coming through, so we're going to move you to the mall. I'm like, <laughs> we got Bow. <laughs> Boy, I'm already on the train. I'm already on the way up there. You wasn't on the train. Stop lying, Jess. I wasn't, but I was about to fucking buy my train ticket. No, you told me good, because I ain't want to fucking come no way, because you got to take your son to school or some shit. Yes, that's what you said. <laughs> <laughs> that was you said. So you wasn't even going to show up anyway. So stop the lying. 
I heard more of that, but you definitely, but you definitely still did that. You was, I probably said that because I was mad, but you definitely was like, "Yo, we got bow." So I'm like, "Bow, and I didn't wow!" Bounce you. I just said you got. I said we had. I said we had to push it back a, a hour or so. That's what happened. No, you don't you try to give me another day, Char. You try to give me another day. You was like, "No, we're gonna do like try to do like this weekend or something." I mean, no, not this weekend, like next week or tomorrow or something. Because I'm like, you did get, but you got on there. I wanted you to come on there again, but you wouldn't fuck with us. I did get on there, but don't ever move me out the way for no motherfucking bow wow, yo. <laughs> so you so you trying to tell me that you trying to tell me that you ain't never turned up at a scream talk. Yeah, but that wasn't a screen tour. That was a motherfucking Breakfast Club interview. And I could have had that. Yo, with that. And then Bow Wow, wow, wow <laughs> went in there and they didn't do nothing. This shit ain't getting no fucking views. That shit got a couple million views, but Bow Wow was a whole legend. Y'all got to start respecting Bow Wow a little bit more. I do respect Bow Wow. Bow Wow my homie, but I'm going to keep it funky on some real shit. I'm going to be a G with you. Like, no, don't ever put me to the side for Bow, yo. I didn't put you to the side for Bow. You can't put me on the side. Bow Wow, Romeo. Rome, not Romeo neither? Little Fizz. No, I would never do that for I would never do you. I would never bump you for Fizz. That would never happen. Maybe um, that would never, Fizz would never happen. <laughs> Who else, yo? Who else? How many shows you had to cancel this month? Stop lying. What? I had to cancel like 11. God damn! So, so that's, what, that's about that's about that's about a hundred. So my stacks. cash app is just hilarious ninety two. You want me to send you something? Yeah, but that's not my cash app. You gonna send me something? Jess, you know I love you. I'll do anything for you. Oh, bro! Yeah, that's Don't like, act like, like that. You know what? All right, so I'm going to text you, like, the routing number, account number. You can just wire that shit straight over. We ain't got to go through no app. What's good? I thought you said you going to cash it. Send me the cash app. Nope. Brother, come give me something on. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, bye. Get off my live, yo. Whatever with your fucking head. That's why you sweating in the house. My black is trying to play us, yo. Huh? Huh? What? Cause I ain't got no gel. You got no gel. gel? Shit, look, can... look, yo, I did my shit. My shit all bulging up. I'm like, what the fuck? Now watch this. Watch this. Now see, I, look how far I can take my hat back, and you still ain't gonna see nothing. Let me see. You still ain't see nothing. You still ain't see nothing. Yeah, nothing. It looks good. You still ain't see nothing. No. No. You ain't. It's a full head of hair under that. Now I'm trying to take. See. Okay. Damn! Yeah. Hey, yo. That's exactly why I'm wearing a hat in the motherfucking house. This is a very difficult time. For a lot of brothers, and y'all ain't really showing us no sympathy or no empathy, okay? Okay, we ain't I seen our you. barbers in a couple weeks. All right, my <laughs> shit's right here. You ever see that movie Robocop where Robocop take off his mask? That's how my shit looks. <laughs> I tried to get my shit lined up one time, my barber laughed at me. That nigga lined that shit up and just laughed at me for like two seconds in the barber. Damn, shop. yo. Yeah, this, shit, this shit fucked up. Oh, we, got bro, the grades. Fucked up. we got the grades coming in. But you good though, you good. What what do you like? 45. I ain't no goddamn 45. <laughs> 41. Don't do me like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, like, no, that's that, that should make a difference. 45, I'm, I'm 41. That's your difference. You 45, you can get the free pancakes at IHOP. I ain't there yet. Okay, okay, okay. So you still pay for your shit at IHOP? Yes, you don't pay for your shit at IHOP? I, I don't go there. I'm about to go, because you make me feel Psycho, psycho. <laughs> psycho. I, I, go to, I, I haven't been to IHOP in, like, years, though, for real. Because I make good pancakes, so I just cook. Why don't you take this time to start a podcast? You think I should? Yeah, since you just got the crib. 
people like to hear from you. I mean, the live is cool. The live is cool. Mm -hmm. but, you, know, you might could be earning some extra income doing a podcast. Yeah. You in Austin. Who the fuck is Austin? Not Austin. My bad. Ashton. Ashton. Ashton! I added, I added you when you get mad. Come here. I added you. <clears throat> get your ass. Ashton! What? Ash! His name probably is Austin, but you just don't want to put the U Definitely in Definitely not Austin. What the fuck? I never would do that. Look, come here. So, Charlemagne just definitely called you Austin. What you no, gonna say? No, I didn't. I said Aston. What's up, my brother? How are you, sir? Good. You holding mommy down? Yes. You protecting mommy at all costs? Yes. All right. He said your name is Austin. Is your, is your name Austin? Uh-uh. What type of shit is that? It's Ashton. Yeah, but what I'm do you like that? I'm not going to lie, Jess. His hairline look a little bit like mine. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him now. Get him. You not gonna get him you want me to get him? No. Ashton, you gotta do your push up. You can always protect mommy, okay? Yo. Yo. You're doing a phenomenal job. Hey, you're doing a phenomenal job as a mother too though. Absolutely. That's why I'm gonna beat the shit out of you when I see you. Could you just try? What are you it? talking about, man? <laughs> For what? I'm going to beat what? the whole shit out of you. All I'm saying is, I'm just telling you, that's how it starts. Cause when I was his age, my daddy used to take me to this barber, and that motherfucker used to be trying to get my line right so much that he'd be pushing <laughs> that shit all the way back. And that shit never got quite right. I see what you're doing. Let him grow braids or something. I'm serious. <laughs> I'm serious. Ah! <laughs> yes, right. Look, look, fuck you. I'm done. You're right, but still fuck you, because I'm, I'm a mom. I'm, I'm just telling you, but you're doing a great job. Thank you. So um, when y'all y'all can't go in and, and, and do no more. Um, I'm doing the show from right here in my house. I'm not coming to your fucking house. What are you talking about? Because I, I want to do the show. I'm not coming around you till this corona shit over. Donald Trump said April 30th. <laughs> I'm not I'm not about to be around. None you believe him? You believe this is going to be over at April 13th? It ain't going to be over, but what's going to happen is they're going to have to open this economy back up because America Americans can't sit still for too long. They got to keep these dollars. No, and they're not, I know, and they won't, right? That's they the won't. worst thing. And, and, and sadly, a lot of us are willing to risk it to go get that motherfucking check because we ain't got fuck you money yet. We doing no. okay. We doing okay, but we ain't got that kind of. We ain't got that. Yeah, we doing all but right, see, motherfucker. Right now. Yeah, I can last. I can last about a year. That's right. But once, That's right. once, once more, uh, starts going out and coming in. Lord have mercy. <laughs> once you got to start dipping into them savings and them stocks and them bonds and all that, that's not what you want. So Trump gonna open this shit back up by about April thirty. Okay, we'll see. You'll be right in time for summer, Jess. Yeah, we'll see. So keep so don't just right in time for summer. We'll see. Why I don't feel like you're judging me through this screen? Huh? Why I feel like you're judging me through this screen? Am I? <laughs> I was judging myself. I was going over my makeup. I'm not judging. <laughs> I don't know how much more powder you're going to add to your face for what? Oh my God, because I, no, I didn't add any powder. That First of all, you don't even need all of that shit, okay? Because you are a beautiful black queen. You don't even need all of that shit, number one, okay? Thank you so much. But if you feel like doing it, cool, but you don't need it. I want you to know that, okay? Yeah. Anybody tells you different, they lying to you. Yeah, what if I tell myself? Tell yourself what? That I like makeup. That you, that, that you, oh no, if you like it, do your thing. That's what the fuck I'm doing. I'm, I'm doing my thing. I know I don't need it. Yeah, Thank I'm, you, Black King. I'm, I'm, just but... telling, I'm just telling you that you don't need it. All right, but look. Got... <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out why your eyebrows done. Why my eyebrows done? Yeah. Every other woman I know. Because I like do Angela... them, motherfucker. Oh, you doing I yourself. Do Oh, okay, okay, okay. Because every other woman. Yes, what do you think this is? I'm just saying. I see a lot of women look like Anthony Davis out here, but you do them yourself. That you makes are the sense. worst big brother ever. Yo, what like, are you talking I about? I do my shit. All That's the time. beautiful. That shit is nice. You killing them, Jess? 
<laughs> I'm happy for you. This is my nigga. Y'all don't know Jess, my nigga, in a real way. Like, I love Jess. That's little sis right there. You get hurt fucking I with I like you saying. You will get hurt fucking with Jess. You hear me? Jessica, I love you. I love you saying, yo, get the fuck out of here, yo. Try and play with me. Don't what play you with my fucking accent. What are you, you already know. talking about? What is wrong with you? What is you? What's wrong with you? <laughs> what is wrong with you? I'm just okay <laughs> giving you compliments <laughs> and you going crazy. That's what's wrong with black people. You can't even tell black people you you love them. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Because <laughs> <laughs> you try me, yo. You try me. No, I am not. That's this your is my, basement. This is my basement. You want to see it? You got the you got the office ceiling. The off. Let me see. The office ceiling. Boy, fuck it. You got the office ceiling. Like if you stick the broom stick up there, that should go right okay. through. Okay. It's my basement. Damn, you got a whole bar. Hey, Jess is the nigga. Michael Blackson is a bitch. Fuck it. Damn, why he play you like that? I don't know. Don't he played. He's been doing that my like whole that. life. He been doing that our whole life that we've been knowing each other. So your whole life, Michael Black has been long. Michael Black has been alive about twice, twice as twice as long as you. I said our whole lives of knowing each other. Oh, okay. Michael Black is fifty two. And shit, I'm fifty seven on Google. I don't know what the fuck going on there. You fifty seven on Google for real? On Google, yes. They got a motherfucker fifty seven, Sean. You? Uh-huh. You're not even 30 yet, are you? Are you 30 yet? Nigga. No, I'm 28. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You that's what I say. You're not even 30 yet. I look a little seasoned, but I don't look no fucking. No, 50 you don't, seven. man. What you mean you look seasoned? I don't look 57. Listen, I'm okay with that. Like, I'm fine. Like, I got a lot of strong features, very mature in the face. You know what I'm saying? That ain't your like, fault though. That's Baltimore. That's my father. That's what the fuck. That's what the fuck that is, my nigga. <laughs> It ain't nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. No, nah, ain't nothing wrong with it. But right. that's, that's the nigga I look like, but... Now Michael trying to lie. Niggas do not like when you start talking about age. Why do y'all niggas not like to talk about y'all real ages? Michael talk about, no, I'm not. Michael Blackson is at least 51. You 41. He, he, I'm 41. Damn, he, he 10 years older than you, Sean. Yeah, Michael Blackson gotta be older than me. Michael Blackson not gotta be older than me. Yeah. I didn't come up with Michael Blackson them. Michael Blackson them got to be older than me. <laughs> Michael Blackson, Charlie Mack, all of them the same age. Oh, Charlie Mack? Oh, yeah, he like 53. No, Charlie Mack, 62. Damn, yo, <laughs> Michael. Then Michael just look good. Michael old is a bitch. Michael, it's not, first of all, it's nothing wrong with being old, okay? Jess is hiding a nigga in the crib. Boy, go back. Mm. He is such a phony ass African. He not even like that. He from Philly. He don't have that fucking accent. Damn. Damn. Look, no, no this. Let me tell you one day. Look right. Look, and then I'm gonna let you go without. But listen, we 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 was on a show together. It was like in Boston or some shit. It was like two years ago. And this nigga go out there talking about yo, what's up with the, 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 the you know, talking like that, the African shit, and they gonna walk past me backstage, right, and was like, hey, yo, Jess, what's up with it? I'm like, <laughs> the fuck you mean, what's up with it? He was like, nah, yo, what's up? I mean, what, how you feel, like, how you been feeling this shit? Like, you like this, this comedy shit? I'm like, how the fuck don't you have your accent now? <laughs> like, yo, I swear to God, like, yo, I, that's the first time I ever heard him talk like that. Bitch, I was like, yo, yo, you was like, hey, yo, just what's up with it? I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Mike said he, Mike said he forty five, but Google say Mike forty seven. Either way, he older than me. Either way, I would have been in high, I would have been a freshman. If he forty five, I'd have been in eighth grade when he was a senior in high school. If he forty seven, I'd have been in like fifth grade when he was a senior in high school. If my math was correct. I'm but so I have all school. this math. What the fuck? I went to night. I, I graduated from night school. Oh damn! So he is forty-seven. There's nothing wrong with that. First of all, embrace your age. People waking up dead every day out here, so you should embrace your motherfucking age. How you wake up dead? Huh? How you wake up dead? 
You don't think when you die, you wake up somewhere? Not dead. You may not wake up here, but you wake up somewhere. See, there you go judging me again. <laughs> I can see, I can see. Oh, Elvis Duran, what's up, Elvis? Say what's up to Elvis Duran. Who the fuck is Elvis Duran? Elvis Duran is a is a huge nationally syndicated radio personality. Okay, he related to Kevin Durant. No, Duran, like Duran, like Duran, oh. Duran, the group. Hey, that might, that's before your time too. How you doing, sir? You never thought about waking up dead. You don't think about stuff like that. What have you seriously, Jeff? What have you been thinking about during this um this time that we have off? How I'm going to create more ways of revenue in my life. That's good. And um, I've been writing new comedy. Okay, okay. Um, however, none of it is about coronavirus. We've been corona to death. So when I jump back on stage, oh, it's not going to be about corona at all. Um, it's going to be about a bun bunch of other shit that is going on in real life. Um, I've been being a great mom, which is like, all the time. We're not going to give you credit for what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't get credit for what I'm supposed to do. My son gives me that credit every day. He'd be like, you're the best mommy ever. You haven't thought about nothing deeper, though? You haven't thought about what, what's the meaning behind all of this? Like, what is God trying to show us? I know you're a God-fearing woman. What is God? Okay, all right. Well, let me put you in your place real quick, because I definitely already been thinking of it on that. Your, your nose is oily as fuck. Anyway, <laughs> but... <laughs> Pass Jesus. me your brush. Pass me your brush through the phone. I know, right? <laughs> oh uh, Here, do it look, for me. Do anyway, it for me. Look, so, do it no. For me. I've been thinking that this is actually, like, this is something to calm us down. This is, like, more than just a pandemic. This is, like, something that is showing the world, you know, like, we need a break from everything. Everybody just need to sit the fuck down and just chill out and stop doing this and that like just just everything performers pastors rappers actors actresses mm -hmm. regular people you know like politics regular fucking people ordinary everyday people it's so much corruption in the world i feel like this is a big like yeah everybody got to be still you know just for a while this is like a movement i more so feel like but i never wanted to say that online because people take shit to different just too many different ways and i don't want it to end up like that but i promise you like that's how i feel this is like bigger than just a pandemic that is like and and i do sympathize with the families about the deaths and everything it's, it's very serious but it's also a bigger picture with it as well like yo we need to sit still and remember and get back to who we and i'm religious i'm a christian so i'm just like I don't know what anybody else's views are on here. And I am not trying to come from nobody, whatever. But me, I'm a Christian. And I feel like we need to get back to prayer, putting him first and everything. I just think, yes. feel like we lost ourselves in society and, like, the media, like, everything. Like, we've become so desensitized to everything that's happening, like, deaths, even everything. And we're so numb to it. And everybody just moving so fast at a fast pace. We're not thinking no more. People are like, it's just too much shit going on in the world. And I feel like this is just like an abrupt stop. This gives us like foundation again. Like, oh shit, we actually got to be in the house. We got to cook. We got to spend time with our kids. We have to get back to family. We have to get back to modern day shit. Right. Um, way back to before the phone was poisoning in our minds. Like we, when I, I listen, like seriously, I wake up. I, first thing I do is check my Instagram. Before you pray? Wow. And I pray every morning at 7.30 a.m. You check, you check I, your I don't Instagram. know why. I don't know why. But, yeah, I don't know why. But he wakes me up at, like, between, like, 5.30 and 6.30 every morning. And I, Instagram, and then I my prayer, I said, I jump on a prayer line and shit. Like, I actually, I jump on a prayer line. Um, every morning at six, seven, between seven thirty and seven forty-five, and I pray until eight thirty. I listen and I pray until eight thirty, and then I'll read my Bible, and then I'll go about my day and I'll say my nightly prayers before I go to sleep. There's no set time for that because I, I go to sleep different times. But like, I stopped doing that shit for a, a long time. Like wow. just 
you know, and it's like I'm doing it again now. It's just I don't know, like this shit just so I feel like it's different. It's, so it's basically you saying it's your fault that Corona is spreading the way it, it is because you stop waking up and praying every morning. It's your. Fault. I'm saying I'm saying that the positive advantage <clears throat> that I get the advantage that I got out of this coronavirus quarantine is that I'm getting back to building a relationship with God. I and I'm doing it. I started doing it before that, but it was just like, oh shit! Like it's always a reminder. Like when you do that, yes. it's something. It's a, he'll bring you down easily. You just be like, motherfucker, you thought you had fourteen shows this 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 uh right. this month. That's I already right. canceled eleven. This shit, I gave you that shit like this. I can take it like this. You just bought that G wagon, bitch. Now you gotta pay for it. You're absolutely right. I really, I feel the same way. I feel like it's also mm -hmm. a reminder that we're not really in control. Yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's way more than just, and it's no powder on this, so mind your business. But um, it's just, it's way more than that. It's way mm -hmm. more than what everybody, like, it's more than, like, just a, a virus. It's I, it's a move. I, I feel like it's it's a message. Like, it's just chill. It's and you can and after this, we can't go back to normal either. This is like one of those opportunities um, for God has given us a choice. You know how like in the, in mm -hmm. the Bible, you know, he te Noah told people, look, it's, it's about the rain. You need to get on this ark. And some yeah. motherfuckers was like, yeah. nigga, you tripping. It ain't about the rain, yada, yada, yada. So they didn't get on the ark. Those are the people mm -hmm. that won't social distance. Those are the people that are still going outside. All right? And like, you know, he always yeah. gives us a choice on what to do. So we just can't, on what to do. So we just can't, um... You know, go what back. To do. Anyway, enough of that stuff.